everybody. Okay, so I started the series last night. I unboxed the hair. Um, I'll put the link down below. And then I um, tweezed the hairline and I cut the lace off of my silk base lace closure. Um, I did work ahead a little bit um, because I had um, a horrible case of toddlerus interruptus. So um, I had to get it in where I could fit it in. Um, so what I did was um, I went ahead and sewed the clips on to my closure. Um, I use a straight needle. I know some people use curved needles. Um, for this particular thing, um, because the clips were so small and the lace was so delicate, uh, I used black needle and a uh, black thread and a straight needle. And um, I can show you what I do. Um, you just figure out where you want the clips. Um, I know that I have to set mine back from the hairline a little bit because they pull right here and I don't like it. So I know personally that's one thing that I have to think about when I'm sewing clips. Um, when you put your clips, um, always be aware of the way you want them to open. You want the teeth to be out when they open. Be aware or else... You'll only do it one time, but you'll put it on backwards and then you'll have to take it off. Um, so I just go in to the lace through the hole and I pull it through and um, I don't go over the edge. Let me back up. I don't go over the edge this way. I go through the lace, through the hole, through the lace, through the hole. Don't go around it. Um, and then make a loop, pull it through. Just make a knot in it, cut it off. It's really, really that easy. Because this closure was so small, it's only a four by four, um, I only used three clips. Now, I told you I was gonna go from, from box to head, and I'm going to. Um, I'm not gonna split this video up. The clips are easy, ta-da, you sewed them in. Um, I think I want bangs in this. I have natural bangs. I like to wear bangs. I think it helps hide my hairline. I have already sprayed right here um, with my concealer spray. I'm sure you can tell. And um, I've already flat ironed my hair. This piece is very straight and I want my natural hair to blend in with it as best I can until I get layers cut in this piece um, I, I'm not going to curl it. I'm going to wear it straight and like blunt cut. Um, that's the way it's going to look best until it has layers. Um, once I cut layers in it, then I'll be able to curl it um, and it'll blend in with my layers. So, um, what I've done on my scalp, um, is I've used my got to be volumizing powder as usual. Um, it gives a little bit of stickiness. To hold the clips in um, my hair is so fine that a lot of times um, my kip clips want to slide so I'm intend on keeping this on all day so um, it's just gonna happen so that's the way it's gonna work so I put this see right up where I've got that line of spray because I'm and I scoop up my hair Okay, make sure the clips are not too tight. Go in the back, do the same with this clip. I'm cutting bangs into this, I, I told you all that. So these clips are a little tight. Reposition them, make sure you don't have so much hair in them. Um, I just, I mean, I could pull this, I could pull this forward and separate my bangs um, and blend it in, but I, I just really want a layer of bangs in this. So I want to wear this piece 
like this. Um, just preference. That's just what I want. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to get this out of the way. Chop, chop, chop. Do not be scared. This is not the place or the time to be nervous about cutting. Okay, I'm not, I'm not um, gonna really part that evenly. I just kinda want it to look natural. So, I've got my bangs underneath, I know where they fall, and I'm gonna use those as a guideline. Get my straightener out of the way. Here we go. Cut them a little longer than what you want them to be. I kept my straightener because I may have to pull these down and straighten them a little bit. You see they're crazy. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of maneuvering to get these bad boys to lay down water trust me they'll lay down turn my straightener on and I don't have my blow dryer that helps um Get the roots wet. The roots are on the topper, on the closure. Oh, I just dropped all my hair on the floor that I cut off. So, I'm going to go in right here. See, that's all I did. I'm not quite done cutting these bangs. I just really wanted them to get them to lay down because if you cut them when they're sticking up, they're gonna end up being shorter than what you want. So you cut a little bit of the length off and then manipulate the root with water, hairspray, whatever you need to, to get them to lay down and then finish cutting them. Um, you have your natural bangs as the guideline. And see, I have a little bit of layers. This is my natural hair here. It is, it is actually really hard to tell where my natural hair is and where the topper hair is. I don't cut my bangs in a straight line. Um, I cut them a little longer than they're supposed to be. And then when I pick them back up, I need to blend a little bit more of this in. Um, I don't like what's called a blunt cut. So when I cut my bangs, look, they're all crooked. But I wear them side swept, so it's okay. Um, let's see, what have I got here? That's my bio hair. I do this. I cut up at an angle, okay, because I don't want my bangs blunt cut, and I'm blending that down to the side. Now you saw that that was like crazy, not straight um, hair cutting. I'm not. I'm not a stylist. Um, but you really don't have to be 
to make this work. I've blended a little bit of this side in. Made those bangs. Kind of feathered that down just a little bit. Come on guys, you've seen your stylus do this stuff. This is easy. Easy stuff. I still have blunt cut bangs and I want them a little bit shorter. You see I'm doing this in layers. Um, you can always take more off. You cannot always put more on. So don't, don't do too much and then be sorry because this isn't your natural hair so it's not going to grow back. Yeah, that's my hairline. It This piece is so soft, it's really... I have to pull it to figure out where that bio, my bio hair is and where this hair is. I'll tell you what I want to do. This is a little blunt for me. Um, not the cut, the ends, and I kind of want to curl them under, so I got to turn my heat down on my straightener so I can, I can blend these bangs in just a little bit. Not straight. Cut. I don't really intend them to be straight so much as maybe, maybe just evened out a little bit more. I want them going downhill. I got some crazy ones back here. I don't even know if that was my bio hair. It could have been. these curled under just a little bit. It'll help tame them. You see I'm curling my hair with a strainer. That's better. Look at that. See the difference that made? Amazing. Just curling those ends under a little bit. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you, honestly, I cannot tell, unless I separate it, I can't tell where my bio hair starts and where my topper starts. I can't tell. I have to pull it to tell. I'm gonna take one more swipe with my straightener to curl this under. Don't forget to adjust your heat. You do not need really, really high heat to do this. 
not for your bio hair, especially when your bio hair is as fine as mine. Um, and the and the hair on the closure, you don't want to burn it. So, ladies, there we go. Look at that. Bangs cut, side swept. What I can do to get a little bit of volume right here is um, my volumizing powder. Put it on my natural root to give me some volume underneath because everything is so soft and, and so fine. It's just gonna give it a little bit of lift. See that? So much better. Clips are tight. I'm used to having layers, so I'm used to like really having a lot more, a lot more lift. That's it. There we go. I think it looks good. It's blended well. Um, it looks natural. This piece cost me in the store. This piece cost me eighty dollars. I haven't even touched hairspray. I haven't put any hairspray in it. Um, and I'll probably keep working on it. Um, I want to get a few layers, maybe. Maybe just cut it like up here so my natural hair will blend on the bottom with the layers. Um, but I promised you that I was going to go from box to head and uh, make a really nice looking hair style. And I believed I accomplished, I believe I accomplished that goal. So, um... Silk base lace closure, I cut bangs in, I did the whole thing from box to head. I like the way it looks. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll probably continue to work on this piece. Um, cut a little bit over here, frame my face. But for now, um, I'm gonna wear this today. I'm gonna wear it just like this. So um, I wanna thank you all for watching. If you like my videos and you want to learn more about uh, tricks and tricks and tips and um, secrets that I have for th hiding my thin hair, um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click the link down below. It's my Facebook um, and I'll add you to our hair group. We have all kinds of nice ladies in there that um, are very supportive um, of and, and share tips and tricks and secrets of their own. It's not just me. So, Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you soon.